move on to discussing some very specific questions based on analogies that appeared in previous year's gate exams. So now we discuss uh, some questions that have appeared in previous year's uh, gate exams uh, based on analogies. As you can see, uh, the first question is there on your screen. Many of these questions or most of these questions would also explain what is what you are expected to do. That is, there will be proper sentences given which will explain how to analyze the different words or pairs of words given and what kind of relationship or what type of uh, format is there or what exactly do you need to do in that question. So let's uh, read the instructions that are given for this first question that is there on your screens. The question below consists of a pair of related words followed by four pairs of words. Select the pair that best expresses the relation in the original pair. So as you would have uh, uh, seen and uh, read or watched in the earlier segment in which we were uh, discussing a lot of examples based on analogies. So this is also uh, same or very similar uh, in uh, meaning or to the earlier examples that we have discussed where an original pair of words is given which has a certain type of meaning and then there are four, op four or five options given here in this case four options are given and out of those four options we have to select that option in which the pair of words has very similar or same type of meaning as to the original pair of words given. So let us start considering the first question. The pair of words given is unemployed worker. Now if you see here Unemployed and worker has a colon in between, but after the word worker, there are two colons given. What this simply means is that you have to read this whole question as unemployed is related to worker exactly as dash and dash are related to each other. That is the two colons can be read as exactly similar in meaning to or exactly as. That's it. So that's the simple meaning of the double colon that is given after worker that is unemployed and worker uh, are related in the same or similar manner as some other pair of words which follows after the two colons and which is that which is that pair that comes after the two colons we have to identify from the options given so a worker is somebody that works whereas an unemployed could be a worker that is a worker or somebody who can work but who is not putting his or her skills to use right now. That is someone who has been a worker in the past but right now it is of put to no use. That worker is called an unemployed worker. Now out of the options given, let us start considering the options from the back. That is first consider option D then C and so on. So option D states renovated house. Now a house can be renovated or a house can be old or a house can be new. So. Yes, a house can be renovated or a house can be unoccupied or not being put to use. But renovated is only one particular type of a house. Whereas a house can have different qualities or characteristics. If in this case it had been given that a house is unoccupied, that is a house is not being put to use. Then yes, that uh, option would have uh, been very close to the relationship of the original. That is then the original pair. But here option D does not work. Option C says wit and jester. Now a jester is a person that performs in a witty, humorous, smart manner. So wit is a quality of a jester. It does not mean that a jester is not using that quality or is not doing any work or it is in an unemployed state. Now we come to option B which is sleeper unaware. Now once again a sleeper and unaware are sort of unrelated to each other that is a sleeper is not that person who is unaware. Yes, sometimes the word sleeper is used uh, for a person who was sleeping or a person who was ignorant and not aware of what was happening around him or her. But again, a sleeper and unaware is not directly related in the same way. Now we come to option A which is land fallow. Now the word fallow means that something that has not been used, something that has not been used for agriculture. So fallow directly means something that has not been dug or used for the specific purpose it is there. So a fallow land means a land that has not been used for agriculture. Similarly, just like a worker that can work uh, in something has not been put to use or it is a, that worker is unemployed. Similarly, a land is fallow. So the correct option is option A here. 
Now this question appeared in K 2010. Let's move on to the next question that has appeared in previous year's state exams. Here is the next question in front of you on your screens. As you can very clearly see, uh, once again, uh, the instructions are given that um, the question contains a pair of words which has a certain relationship and for there are four options given. Each of the options again contains a pair of words and we have to identify that option in which the pair of words has almost or similar uh, relationship to the original pair of words. The original pair of words is gladiator is to arena. Now, a gladiator in olden times, in ancient times, um, in Greece, in Greece and in Rome, uh, particularly in uh, Rome, uh, which is the capital of Italy. So, in Greece and in Rome, uh, in those ancient cultures, the gladiator was basically a person or a fighter that used to fight in a big field and around that field a lot of people it was like a huge stadium in which there was a huge ground in the center and around that ground there were a lot of stands or a lot of sitting arrangement for a lot of people and there used to be fighters or performers who used to face very difficult situations like uh, one person used to fight multiple people or one fighter or a warrior used to fight very wild animals so those people were called gladiators and that whole huge stadium kind of a thing that huge round usually they were round shaped enclosures in which there was a huge ground or field in the center and there were sitting spaces all around for thousands of people that whole place was called the arena a very common uh, word that is used for arena these days is a stadium so a gladiator always performs in an arena or a stadium that's the relationship between gladiator and arena let's move on to the options and analyze now as you can see in the very first option a dancer performs on a stage a dancer is almost always uh, expected or asked or the place where a dancer performs is called a stage so option a appears to be the correct option because uh, the pair of words has a very similar or same meaning as the original pair but let's consider the other options as well option b is commuter train now Anybody who travels from one place to the other uh, is called a commuter. Now commuting can be done by bus, it can be done by a car or it can be done by a uh, train as well. So a person who travels on something uh, can be dif different objects or different machines or different uh, vehicles or automobiles, not necessarily a train alone. So commuting, commuter and train are not related in the same way as gladiator is related to arena. Teacher, classroom, now you can say that yes, a teacher teaches in a classroom. However, the interesting part is that if you consider option D as well, where it says lawyer, courtroom, the fundamental difference is that you can say that option C is correct because a teacher uh, teaches in a classroom and a lawyer actually works in a courtroom. But here the fundamental difference is that a gladiator performs in front of a lot of people. It is a particular type of an act. It is a performance to show to other people. Whereas if we consider option C and option D, it is the normal job of a teacher to perform or to do his or her job in a classroom. And it is a very normal day to day uh, job or activity of a lawyer to work in a courtroom. It is not necessary that that activity or job is being done to show it or show it off to a lot of people or anybody can come to watch that. Whereas a dancer, when a dancer performs on a stage, it is expected to be seen by an audience. That is people are sitting to watch it for entertainment purpose. Similarly, uh, when a gladiator used to perform in an arena, it was for the purpose of entertainment of the kings and the noble people and a lot of general audiences in any place. So that's why a dancer is related to a stage in a very similar meaning, um, in a very similar relationship as a gladiator is related to an arena. So here we must be careful that the relationship should be as close uh, in the among the options as the original pair. So here the correct option is option E. That is, a gladiator is to arena in exactly the same way as a dancer is to a stage. Now we move on to the next question. Here's the next question in the list of uh, previous year's gate uh, exam questions uh, based on analogies. Once again, an original pair of words is given which is medicine, health and among the choices we have to identify 
that choice where the pair of words has a very similar or same relationship as to this original pair. Now medicine is to health. We all know that medicine is something that is to be taken, it could be eaten or it could be uh, put inside our bodies uh, through injections or something which improves our health. So a medicine is anything that is used to improve a person or an animal's health and we have to identify a pair of words among the choices which has a very similar or same meaning. Now science is to experiment. Option A says science is to experiment. Now science is not Science is a very broad area. I mean, almost every field in human activity or every field around us, everything is driven by science. And experiments are done in science. That does not mean that science is actually used to improve experiments or in any way build upon experiments. Whereas experiments are a part of science. So the relationship is not similar to the original pair. Coming to option B, wealth, peace. Again, no relationship. I mean, wealth can... Quite often you would have heard that maybe uh, wealth can buy peace but then sometimes wealth can create a lot of headaches and a lot of difficulties, difficult situations as well. So again wealth and peace have almost no relationship, no clear logical relationship. We come to education and knowledge. Now as you can see the more education a person has the better is that person's knowledge. It is expected that the more and more educated you are or the higher and higher levels of education that you attain, you will have more and more knowledge in that particular field, in whichever field you are getting education in. So, greater the education, greater is the knowledge. This is exactly the same, it has not exactly but very similar or close relationship as medicine has to health. Because medicine is used to improve health and education is used to improve knowledge. If we consider the last option, option D, money and happiness again are not related to each other. So they have no logical relationship, the last option. So the correct option is option C, that is medicine is to health exactly as education is to knowledge. So I hope you understood this question. This appeared in gate 2013. Let's move on to the next question. This is the next question in front of you. Once again, an original pair is given and then we have to identify among the choices that pair uh, which has a similar or same relationship as to the original pair. The original pair is children pediatrician. Now, what is a pediatrician? A pediatrician is a children's doctor. In a very simple, straightforward manner, a pediatrician is a children's doctor. Let's analyze the options. Option A is adult orthopedist. Now, orthopedist is an expert on bones. That is a doctor that is an expert on human bones or bones in any animal. That person is called an orthopedist. So, orthopedist is a particular type of a doctor based on the organs in the body. So, adult and orthopedist is not adult and orthopedist does not have the kind of relationship as children and pediatrician has. So we move on to option B, which is females gynecologist. Now, once again, if we see the females are related to gynecologist because uh, a gynecologist is a particular type of a female doctor because a gynecologist uh, treats conditions that are related to uh, female, uh, female situations, female bodies. That's why the correct answer here is Females gynecologist because just like a pediatrician is a doctor for children, similarly a gynecologist is a doctor for females. If we consider option C and option D as well, option C says kidney nephrologist. Now, yes, nephrologist is the type of a doctor that treats kidneys. Kidney is not a particular type of uh, humans or a particular type of animals which are uh, uh, treated by nephrologists, whereas kidney is an organ that is actually uh, treated or uh, analyzed and treated by a nephrologist. Similarly, a skin expert or a skin doctor is called a dermatologist. But here the relationship is that what type or category of um, human beings are treated by a particular type of doctor. So children are treated by pediatrician uh, while females are treated by a gynecologist. So the correct option is option B. This question appeared in gate 2015. Let's move on to the next question. Here, as you can see, this is the next question. Now, if you may remember from the previous segments, 
this question is of the uh, similar manner where a sentence is given in which an original uh, pair is given and then a third or a fourth word is given and one word is missing and we have to identify the missing word. So the answer, the question says, a court is to a judge as dash is to a teacher. That is, a court has a similar relationship uh, to a judge exactly as one of the options has to a teacher. Now we all know that a judge sits in a court or a judge daily works in a court. Similarly, teacher must be working in a place on a regular basis. So where does a teacher regularly work? In a college or a school. So obviously the correct option here is option D, school. All the other options, a punishment, a student, a syllabus, they are related to some or the other aspect of a teacher's work. But the place where a teacher works is a school or a college. So the correct option here is option D, school. And this question appeared in GATE 2019. Actually, this appeared in the Computer Science and IT exam of GATE 2019. So uh, these were some of the questions directly based on analogies that appeared in different years in GATE exams. And I hope you enjoyed studying and analyzing these questions. And I hope you also will go back to the other segments in which um, we have discussed a lot of examples of uh, different types, different contexts, different uh, categories based on analogies and I hope you will enjoy and revise and learn from it. Thank you so much.